Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It is Sunday. That means we have football today. Yes, I know there's an 8:30 game, and I wasn't able to get a video out on time for you to pl uh, play up for that play that 8:30 game. But let me tell you what I did take on my own. Right, uh, I took. I went ahead and picked Josh Allen over in yards. Um, who? Let's see. Evan Ingram over. Dalton Kincaid over. And you know, and Stephon Diggs in over. I'll just show you. So I went ahead and did this play right here. Let's see if it hits. But I'm not going to talk about that too much just because by the time you see this video, you are not going to have time to place that. It is, you can see here, the game starts in about nine minutes. So I'm going to get this video out. I'm going to put the game on the big screen here in the gym. And then we're going to go ahead and, you know, get a good workout at it and watch me make some money. But let's talk about some plays that you can put for this morning or, sorry, this afternoon at 12 o'clock for the noon games. So we're going to go ahead and lock in CJ Stroud over against those Atlanta cornerbacks. Now, it's going to be a tough game for CJ Stroud. Uh, AJ Terrell, he is a tough dude. But if you can see here, the reason why I'm confident, confident in CJ Stroud getting over 246 because he is just getting better and more confident every single game. And you can see here, first game against Baltimore, this guy got 242 passing yards against a good Baltimore defense. And look at his yards after that, 384. 280, 306, right? Yes, Atlanta Falcons are way better than these guys, but Atlanta Falcons and the Baltimore Ravens are both really good defenses, and he was able to drop 242 passing yards in his first game in the NFL against a good Baltimore defense. So I'm pretty confident he could get that 246 and a half now that he's gained more trust in Nico Collins and Tank Dell. And speaking of Nico Collins, let's go ahead and lock in Nico Collins. Just because, like I've said in many of my videos, he is the wide receiver one in this offense. Now, here's the thing. With Nico Collins and Tank Dell, it could flip-flop back and forth. One week it may be Nico Collins. One week it may be Tank Dell. Uh, so I'm just hoping we get a back-to-back -back week of Nico Collins because it was Nico Collins last week, right? Uh, but... I don't know. I'm have, I have more confidence in Nico Collins hitting his over than Tank Dell at this moment. Even though Tank Dell's over is only 41 and a half. Uh, I didn't mean to click that, but you can see here, right? I mean, 16, 145, 72, and 34. He had one big game and one pretty good game against Indiana. But definitely, I do have more confidence in Nico Collins. 146, 180, 35, 44, and 48. He needs 58 and a half receiving yards. Uh, so definitely lock that in. We're also going to go ahead and combine that because, of course, we're going up against the Falcons. We got to get a, a Falcon player, right? So let's go ahead and vote. Am I going to trust any other receivers on the Falcons team? Absolutely not. What we're going to go ahead and trust is B. John Robinson, the number one pick, right? Because B. John Robinson, he's going to be the focal point of this offense. And the Houston Texans, you know, it's pretty. As a rushing offense, you could definitely run on them. So definitely lock in Bijan Robinson over 78 and a half rushing yards there. This is a three-man play. Now it is up to you if you want to include some other players on some other teams, right? This will give you five X. I do like this play. $20 to win $100. So that is a really good play for today. Go ahead and lock that in. I'm gonna go ahead and put I'm gonna put $20 on that. And then we're going to go ahead and lock that in for a power play. Now, another thing that I want you, uh, I'm going to do is give you two more plays, one or two more plays today. I don't want to just put anything out there that, you know, just, just for the sake of putting it out there. I do want to put some plays that are, you know, pretty likely to hit. So we're going to go ahead and be a little safe with this one. CJ Stroud, Nico, and Bijan over in their yards. So lock that in. I'm going to put two units on it because it is a three-person play. So definitely let's let's get that in there. All right. So there you go. Twenty dollars for Nico Collins and the Houston Texans to have a good game. So we're gonna go ahead and go over to one of my favorite games of the day. It's Kirk Cousins against Patrick Mahomes. So pretty much the GOAT versus Patrick Mahomes. All right, so let's go ahead. Patrick Mahomes, Kirk Cousins, they could easily both go for over 300 yards. Lock those overs in. And, of course, we're going to combine that with Justin Jefferson and uh, what's his name? That, that one guy, that 34-year-old guy, uh, Kelsey Swift or something like that. Where is that guy? 
Man, all right, well, you know what? For the sake of me looking like a fool, I'm just gonna go ahead and type their names in. Justin Jefferson, there he is, over 105.5 receiving yards. And we're gonna go ahead and put Kelsey in here as well. I think he's gonna come out, try to have a really, really good game. 75 and a half receiving yards there. Wow, that actually went up. It was about 72, so the books definitely do think it's gonna be a good game. And of course, the 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 what's these guys' names, man? I'm having a you know brain brain fog here. The freaking Kansas City Chiefs. Oh my goodness, the Kansas City Chiefs are pretty decent, you know, with their cornerbacks with you know Trent McDuffie. Uh, they're pretty good at you know in the passing game, but they do lack in. Uh, defending tight ends, especially Trey Bolton. I believe he's going to be out linebacker for the Kansas City Chiefs. So definitely lock in TJ Hawkinson in there as well. That gives you this five man, one, two, three, four, five man play. Definitely could lock that in again. I mean, $20 to win 200. This is a pretty good play. I do like this a lot. So lock that in there. Let's make some money for it with that one. Awesome. There you go. Wonderful. Okay, and then we're going to go back to another game that I really like. And, of course, we've all been waiting to see this guy come back. Again, I'm looking like a... You know what? I'm going to stop scrolling. I hate the awkwardness of, like, just looking for somebody. Matthew Stafford. No, we haven't been waiting for him to come back. But we have been waiting for the triple crown, the most recent triple crown winner, Cooper Cup, right? So let's go ahead and get Cooper Cup on here. Over 57 half receiving yards, man. That is, I get I get that it's his first game, but this guy, he is a beast. Like he's an elite wide receiver. To get him over 57 and a half receiving yards, that is that is amazing. And of course, we're gonna pair that with AJ Brown. Oh, I forgot with AJ, you gotta do this. Period. Then the J. That's annoying. All right, so, so go ahead and lock that in for over 73 and a half receiving yards. Awesome. And then, of course, you know, I, I believe the the Rams are probably going to give the Eagles a more of a closer game than they imagined just because the Eagles passing defense is not that great. And the Rams are going to be looking to throw the ball out with Puka and Cooper Cup. So you could also go ahead and where is he? Jalen Hurts, man. Jalen Hurts over 240.5 passing yards. So if it's going to be a close game, this is this is what's going to happen. Look, 319, 277, 193, 170 against Minnesota, but they weren't really passing a lot during these games. They're definitely passing a lot more now. So let's lock that in. Matthew Stafford, Cooper Cup, A.J. Brown, and Jalen Hurts in hitting their over tonight to, today let's get it, everyone that is your other play your final play for today so let's go ahead and have some good football we have some good football ahead of us i'm excited for today let's make some money and let's get ready for a big week ahead of us the season this is what we are week five into the season so the nfl season is going along and i'm it's you know it's bittersweet because i love every week of it and it also gets a little bit more sad because we're getting a lot closer to the end, and I don't want to do that. I, I wish, you know, I wish these players were just bionic and we could have a full year of NFL season, but they're not. They're humans. They get broken down, right? Their bodies need to rest. But let's go ahead and lock these in. I will see y'all uh, tomorrow for Monday Night Football, and let's see what we have going on tomorrow. All right, everyone, take care. Good luck with your plays. Remember, like, subscribe. Comment, if you will. Share this with all your friends. The reason why I want y'all to share this, because the more you could get this out to people, the more I could do this for you, allowing me to help you make money with me during the NFL season. I have a wife. We're looking to get a kid, right? It's not that I need the money, but my time is definitely valuable. I do have some patients that are coming in in just a few minutes. So in order for me to be able to get this out there for y'all, please, I need y'all to go ahead and share this to everyone you know. It would definitely help me make these videos and convince and show my wife that, hey, you know, I should be making these. I'm helping a lot of people instead of, you know, instead of me just coming on here for about 10 to 15 minutes uh, for a few people to go ahead and view this. If, you know, if it doesn't pick up, I don't know if I'm be able to do this for a very, very long time. But I do want y'all to, you know, help 
benefit and make money with me. All right, anyways, have a good Sunday. Enjoy your time with your family, and I'll see y'all when we are a couple hundred richer. Take care, everyone, and have a great day.